Right now, MDTA police are investigating what exactly caused the series of crashes. There was some dense fog this morning, and you can see tonight the fog has cleared and traffic is back to normal. They stopped traffic completely, so there's nowhere for us to go unless they let us across. You just sit there and wait until they let you pass. Jamie and Sharon Myrick live on Kent Island. They were participating in the polar bear plunge Saturday, jumping into the waters of the Chesapeake Bay to support Maryland Special Olympics. When they looked up to see trouble along the Bay Bridge. It doesn't look good. They've got more ambulances coming on the bridge now to yeah. take more people away. They've walked people off the bridge. They've had empty gurneys go up the bridge. You just, yeah. you don't know when it's a situation like that. Police say they started receiving calls for crashes along the westbound span of the bridge at 8 a.m. 23 vehicles were involved in a chain reaction crash. 20 more were in a series of secondary crashes, while 13 people had to be taken to the hospital with two of those with serious injuries. Everyone, though, is expected to survive. For emergency services, they're actually having to walk their stretchers onto the bridge yep. because they can't access it with their vehicles. Traffic had to alternate directions in the eastbound lanes until westbound could fully reopen around 2 p.m. Yeah. This fog so dense, people don't pay attention, and that causes a lot of these problems. The official cause is under investigation, but if you witness the crashes this morning and have some insight, you should call MDTA police. In Annapolis, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.